Hey, beautifuls. Um, well, now is the time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't have much time to make this video. I just wanted to drop my two cents in the conversation. Roe versus weight, right? Um, and I will come back one of these days, y'all. Um, and we will talk about my blog that I wrote last year entitled having a baby in black is seen as a death sentence, right? Because I think now is the time to talk about it. <laughs> I think as Roe versus Wade is being overturned, now is the time to talk about it. So on Friday, Roe versus Wade was turned, was overturned in the Supreme Court, right? And for those of that, us that do not understand what that means, that means that um, abortion is now, is no longer legal in, uh, in federal law, right? So the states can decide if they want to follow the federal law, right? And just say, you know what, my state don't do abortions no more. Or if they want to continue doing abortions or how they want to regulate abortions in their state. When this law, um, when this, uh, law was overturned, right, when Roe versus Wade was overturned, immediately, um, what state was it? Louisiana immediately shut down its abortion clinics, immediately. Um, as I explained it to my daughter, it means that by 1 p.m., if you had an abortion scheduled in Louisiana, you were not getting one. To put it in this in, in in terms that she could understand, I said a 16 year old girl pregnant, um, you can get an abortion up to 16 weeks. She been hiding from her mother. She's scared to get an abortion. Finally, she got her appointment. Her appointment was for Friday. Um, she was 15 weeks, and it, you know she was a little chunky, so her mother didn't know she was pregnant. And her appointment was at 1:30 in Louisiana, and uh that abortion clinic was closed and now she has to have that baby um a 21 year old black woman going back and forth with the nigga the whole time um about the abortion i'm gonna get abortion i'm not gonna get abortion he start acting good i'm oh i'm not gonna get the abortion now he start acting like she don't like him to act he, she gonna get the abortion again finally she realized the nigga ain't shit because ain't none of them shit and ain't none of them and they don't like women they do not like children they do not like families Okay, finally she decided, you know what, fuck this, I'm really getting a fucking abortion. She scheduled her appointment, 2 p.m. in Louisiana. On Friday, come Friday, she was not able to get that abortion. She is stuck with that fucking baby. Um, and that's where we are. Um, and I just came with a video, what, did that, what does that mean for crone and black women, right? As I said, for me, as a Cronin black woman, I, I don't, I don't really, um, abortions do not really, if you, if it's legal to get an abortion or not, it don't really matter to me. I'm, um, I'm very responsible with my womb. I don't let niggas bust nuts in me, um, period. Um, but if I was to let a male bust a nut in me, and at this point, at this point, y'all, the males... Look, I'm saying males, niggas, the black, black males, white males, Asian males, all those terms are all interchangeable for me now, okay? If you hear me say niggas, sometimes you gotta, you gotta look for context. Do I actually mean the apes or am I talking about males in general? I mean, at this point, as a, a crone, a beloved crone said, they all niggas, okay? <laughs> yeah. As we were talking about, um, y'all, as we were talking about trans women last week in one of my clubhouse rooms, um, they all niggas, okay? And, and this, and I found it funny that everybody knew what a woman was on Friday, didn't they? Everybody knew what a woman was Friday, that shit, that shit's funny to me. There was no confusion on Friday of who, who the fucking woman was. <laughs> Wasn't nobody stumbling over over the word woman we all knew what the fuck woman meant friday okay and i found that find a con, kind of um 
kind of comical. They know what a woman is when they're trying to control creation. <laughs> they know what a woman is when they're trying to control creation. Okay? Which has, you know what, I'm not going there. I'm not, you know, I realize that I have to be a lot more careful with what I say, right? Um, and, and let me tell you why. So, in the trans room, I said that men have to begin to check males. Um, their, their confused brethren. And I was talking about trans. I was talking about mad scientists, um, putting holes in, uh, trans. I mean, I, turning boys into girls and girls into boys. Like, I, I just started, you know, I was just like, you know, males have to check that because when women say it, they not listening to us. So the good men, right, on earth, <laughs> the good ones, right? I know y'all said they exist. I'm going to believe y'all, right? So the good men have to start checking meals and letting them know, like, listen, the lady said, the lady said she don't want you inside the bathroom with her because you have a dick, <laughs> you know? And, and that's what I meant when I said that, right? And I really meant like males need to start, at least if, at least if women are, are saying that we feel uncomfortable or we're saying that we don't like this, right? We don't love, we don't like how males are impeding on our spaces, Right? Now the decent males had to start talking up, speaking up. And, and I said they had to start checking them. And I literally meant that, right? The crone in me obviously meant something much different. She meant, she meant something much sinister. <laughs> she meant something much sinister because the crone has the ability to be a cold bitch. Okay? Right? She is not sugarcoating things, right? She does not care about being protective of anything outside of herself, right? And in some cases, the mothers and the maidens charge to her. She don't give a fuck. When it comes to herself and when it comes to those women who she feel like are under her charge, she don't care about how cold and how, and how cruel and how nasty and how mean she sounds. She does not give a fuck, right? And that's the true essence of a crone. And, um... Sometimes she speaks through me and when she does, you know, cause I'm in my mother's stage of life, you know, it's the crone speaking through me and I don't really know what she means, right? When she says things like that, cause it's, what, I, what I thought I meant was, <laughs> what I thought I meant was, you know, like start speaking up for women, damn it, males. If we're saying something and you a good man, and we saying, listen, I'm in the spa, I don't want no dick to people in the spa. I don't want no penis person in the spa with me. Males come in and, and check them, right? And the trans who brought it up said she's calling for violence. And I was like, you know what, he's going too fucking far, because I didn't call for no fucking violence, you know. The, the, the mother in me, who wants to be protective of all the fucking people, was like, you know... I was not calling for violence, right? And I happened to share it with my friend, a conservative white male. And he says to me, Preen, how do you think males check each other? Like, what do you think that we do? Do you think that we sit around and, and have tea and cry? <laughs> like, do you think that we, is that, is that how you think males will check each other? He said males check each other by war. Every war you ever heard of was about males checking each other. And I was like, oh my gosh. Right? Oh my God, kinda, you know, set on fire a little bit. And I was like, oh, Preen, you may have been calling for violence. And then I had to say to myself, right? I was like, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> like... <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. Like, what do I really want? Like, what did I really want? You know? And when I'm talking about apes, right? And I'm dog whistling in the white males. And I'm like, hey, y'all. These niggas are killing us every five hours. <laughs> hey, listen. They killing us every five hours. You have to do something about it. I know what I'm saying, right? I'm sure of what I'm saying. 
And because they was trans and I was saying the same thing. Hey, they're impeding on our spaces. They're trying to destroy us. Come check them. <laughs> right? And I know and I, and I didn't really know what I was saying, but the crone in me knew, right? And that's why I said it. And at this point, the crone in me sees no other use for meals but to like did these niggas. Really, I have to be honest. I, I've sat down with it, you know. I'm in a physical realm. Males rule the physical realm, right? They we they have more power in the physical realm. We have more power in the spiritual, right? So if I'm saying to a male, hey, listen, come over here and check these niggas. What I really mean is, they're these niggas. <laughs> at this point, at this point, I have to really be okay with that. I have to live with the fact that I want when I'm when I want males to be of service to me, right? Ultimately, what I want them to do is to get rid of the rogue ones. Yes. That's what I want. And I've said it several times. I, 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 you know, I, I have come to terms with that, but I guess because it was trans people. I don't know what the fuck to call them. I felt a little bit uneasy with flat out saying it, right? Because they, you know, they, they, they've confused us so well in this war against women. And when I say war against women, it's the war against an A woman. And I realized that the A woman is African American women. And I know in this space, it's a lot of women here, right? Might even be, might even be some Beckys over here, <laughs> you know, you know, it, it, you know, it's it's women, uh, black women of other cultures over here, but. In case you've missed it, the impersonation going on all around the world is of black women in the United States of America. African American women. Right? And I had to deal and live in the fact that the war is... It starts off with this and that and ultimately it leads to her. It leads to me. It leads to us. right and when that kind of war is against a woman what do you think i'm gonna say to males did them niggas <laughs> look i'm pointing over there to them niggas like get rid of them okay and and when i as i said when i'm saying niggas i don't really just mean like apes when i say apes i mean apes when i say niggas i mean males and that's males that's gonna be of harm to croning black women <sighs> did them niggas and i have to be okay with that um, so anyway, moving away, I probably was saying, you know, I was probably saying what the fuck he said I was saying, <laughs> you know, I was, and, and he heard it in the way that I said it because he's a male. I know he said he was a trans woman, but y'all, he's a male, he's a boy, he's, a, he knows, you know, he played with fucking army figures when he was young, he knows what check, what, how men check each other, and I mean it. If you keep on impeding on the spaces of women, right? If you keep on causing harms to black women, um, I'm going to cultivate a space. <laughs> and I and, and I mean it. I'm going to cultivate a space where croning black women really learn how to use their power um, in this realm. And one of our powers in this realm is having men be of use to us. And some men are not afraid to die. <laughs> you know, some men, some men on earth, right? I ain't going to tell y'all which ones they are on, on this video. You know, in a more private space with crown and black women. I'll tell you which ones they are. I'll tell you who, who are the males that are not afraid to die for women. Because they are, they do exist. Okay, I know some bunch of fucking cowards here you know but there are men who are going to be of service to women and you know in some spaces you know the crones are like you know what we just not gonna deal with these men and in other spaces the crones are like you know what we are straight we like men <laughs> and to those women who are straight and, to, and who like men you know who are going to be with men right you need to be with men who are going to be of use 
okay and i don't even know how i got here because i was talking about roe versus wade uh, and uh, but 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 i ended up here and um and I'm, I'm not gonna make this video long i really just came to talk about um what that means for a crone and for the most part crones we have control over our wombs right um an abortion is way down the line right an abortion is way down the line i'm talking about that's if you're not being you know raped or you know you unwillingly got pregnant right because we don't um as i said uh, in one of the rooms i was in um a sovereign black woman was talking about how you know sovereign black women need to protect themselves and how we needed abortions and i had to come in i said how does a sovereign black woman get pregnant um and not want a baby because i was really confused like i i really was confused because now y'all confusing now as i said that's why i said i don't use the word sovereign right because how is a sovereign black woman getting pregnant with a baby she don't want i didn't understand it i mean outside of the ways that women get pregnant in general and you know and and don't want it right like like rape you know but how does a sovereign black woman lay down with a man and get pregnant by him willing i mean and, and, and lay down with him willingly and get pregnant and don't and did not want the baby like we don't do that not us not us crones we don't fucking lay down with these fucking apes in general and we sure the fuck ain't laying down with no man and let him bust nuts in us and we you know magically appear pregnant and don't know what to do like, we don't do that. We're very responsible with our wombs. Right? And that was how I felt about Roe Ro versus Wade. And that's still technically, for the most part, right? How I feel. I'm not really thinking. Like, I'm being honest, y'all. It's really fucked up. It's really going to affect. Now, I'm talking about for a crone and black woman, right? For my own personal self right and that's what being a crone is right being responsible for my own personal self right and not really being caught up in what's you know being in this world and not of it right um and that's how a crone exists right uh, but <laughs> i'm in this world so i do know what's going on in this world and i do know how it's gonna affect the collective of black women right more black women having babies they don't want and we see how it goes now with black women having babies they don't want <laughs> and then i heard in some places you know talking about how you know oh well, this is about white women only having 1.5 children i think that's how many that's the how much how many children the average american white woman has and they're not worried about black women babies but who do you think is keeping this whole thing <laughs> this whole thing running and when i say whole thing running i mean the whole thing when i found out that the plasma that i think it was like 80 percent of the plasma in the world in the world craig <laughs> comes from african-american people if y'all don't know what african-american people is you don't understand what that is that's the womb's work of african-american women okay when i found out that the plasma all around the world is coming from 80% of her wombs work you think that I did not think that they wanted her to have more children you think that I did not find out that they had a uh 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 a purposeful interest in black women's children her wombs work right when we really think about how the world is run 
right? And I don't mean how we be, how how it's benefiting us, right? I mean how our wombs work labor is running the whole world and not running it but keeping it running where's the fuel where's the food right what comes from our womb is the fuel that runs the entire world i had to think about the interest that it 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 gains them right to to be invested in our wombs just as much as they invested in their own women wombs in my blog i wrote about how the pregnancies is a death sentence but i also wrote about how mothering in itself is a death sentence for black women right and let me get my phone real fast because i'm just gonna read the last paragraph that i wrote of that right that blog so this is the last paragraph of a blog that i wrote and i wrote it in um august 17 2021 and it was titled getting pregnant in blackistan is a death sentence um and you can read the you know what fuck it i'm gonna read the whole thing um but the blog is on ocean of daughters um dot com i'm gonna also um the blog that you um i'm sorry the the email that you all asked me about, that was written by Erica, our own Erica. <laughs> um, if you have met us on Clubhouse, you know who Erica is. And she is just truly a, a force to be reckoned with. Um, she is truly, truly a siren and a croning, a croning black woman. Um, she is not yet the age of a crone, but she's she's truly 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 a crony black woman she is amazing and her own um personal conversations with me in the ways that she has had to pull me in close as a crony black woman um and you know she's she's just you know a masterpiece um but she revised that um post that i read and i will post it soon maybe one day um this coming week i will post um how she re she revised it um but let me read the blog that i wrote um <sighs> so here it goes getting pregnant as an african-american woman is very risky business the health disparities alone are enough to scare the hell out of me african-american women are dying three to four times more than white women during childbirth and i believe it is quite alarming especially while black women from the caribbean and Af in african countries rates are about the same as white women this is a black woman's problem an ados woman's problem we can blame it on doctors not believing black women when we say we are in pain or something is wrong and yes i will agree as a black woman who was not heard when it came to my house but i must also factor in how horrific pregnancy is for african-american women who are collectively getting pregnant by african-american men and being abused abandoned mistreated and oftentimes killed during their pregnancy I know a lot of black women and I have gotten several I'm pregnant calls. I can't remember any of them being joyous. My own pregnancy was scary, embarrassing, and lonely. For most AA women, AA is African American, right? This is how our pregnancies began. If we are pregnant in poverty, there is a constant worry of how we will provide for the baby. There is the chaos of having a baby and most likely wanting a family with the men least likely to stay and have a family. I have said it once and I will say it always. Black men do not like families. They do not like children. They do not like wives. This is a fact that black women have to deal with. Looking at the numbers 
They are the least likely males to marry, so they should not be granted children. Pregnancies for women in Blackistan are a horror. I have seen black women boast about working until they damn near have babies on the workroom floor. I have been pregnant and I have carried a baby. Black women playing superwoman will not silence me about how pregnancy is indeed a time for rest. You should not have to work two jobs in your final trimester that is abnormal and it is torturous. Black women are posting all over the interwebs about how hard they work during pregnancy and then wonder why we are dying while giving, child, while giving birth. It is ludicrous. Black males do not offer black women relief in carrying their children. Unlike other cultures of men who view pregnancy as the moment to step up and show their worth as men. For their, for other cultures of women, there is a fear in being pregnant, but it differs from the AA woman's experience. If it is a first pregnancy, there is a fear of, will I be a good mom? How painful is childbirth? Even questions about finances and weight gain are normal. But black women are worried about, will, are worried about, will he stay? Will he help? Will he still dog me out now that I am having him, now that I am having his baby? Black males as a collector do not deserve children, and black women need to stop literally risking our lives to give them children. They do not want, and the black community will abuse. As if black women do not have to worry about being murdered by a lover enough, pregnancy increases the chances of being murdered by a lover. Take a moment to visit Black Femicide US on Facebook and see how often Pregnant black women are murdered. Pregnant black women are seven times more likely than white women to be killed during pregnancy. It is as if the pregnancy puts a target on our backs. For some reason, black males believe if they get rid of the problem before it gets here, they won't have to pay child support. Mothering is truly not worth it. If you do make it through pregnancy, this is the last paragraph, right? And I and I want to I wanted to really get this point across right if you do make it through the pregnancy by the grace of goddess and the skin of your teeth black women do not get the privilege of rest after a baby is born and we sure as hell will not get any family support after the male runs out on us because all the women before you have done it but have they how does mothering really look in the black community a woman barely three months post birth back working one and a half jobs breast leaking womb falling and broken hearted trying to raise a kid this sounds like death to me if you make it through the pregnancy you will live a living death in, re in rearing that child ask me how i know i admit that mothering my daughter was to my detriment I actually mothered. I loved my baby. I put her first. I smiled as I was dying. Both the mother and the child do not make it out of single motherhood unscathed. Either the mom sacrifices herself or she will sacrifice the well-being of the child in her mothering. In either way, the end result is a death. Getting pregnant is a death sentence. Whether you physically die or you die at the hands of mothering, you will die and it is not worth it. Black women, be very careful with your wounds. The only men who deserve babies are the ones who will not allow you to die to have them. And today, here we are. Roe versus Wade is, you know, overturned. And black women are, um, are, are in a pickle. And my advice to black women is the same thing it is it was at the end of that um blog and you know the 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 at the end of that blog i said the only people that the only males that deserve babies are the ones who won't let you die having them right and if you're in blackistan sis there is no reason to have a baby right now in Blackistan. Um, I have been pondering the thought of subconscious suicide for black women. Um, and, and it's coming in a lot of ways, right? But the, the thought of not having babies for black women 
it never comes as I'm not gonna have a baby um because I'm, I'm gonna say in divested spaces right because I hear some crazy things in divested spaces right and my blog just talked about how detrimental and how harmful it is to yourself right to your own personal self you know how bad being a mother in Blackistan is um And I think, I think that in women's desperation, coming desperation, um, women's coming desperation in the feeling of just being, um, hopeless, you know, like there is no reprieve. There will be, um, an increased amount of, of suicide for black women. It's just for us as a collective, and I would like to talk to this, talk about this in a more private space, and I am cultivating that space. If you, um, it will be in uh, Discord. If you are a black woman and you are interested, and you are a crowning black woman, and um, let me say, let me just say this. Um, this space will be sacred right <laughs> it'll be a sacred space for black women it will not be a lot of women in this space um women will be individually individually chosen by me to be in this space um some of you here i already know your discords um and i already know how to get in contact with you on discord to invite you to this space um but if you want to be invited to this space please email me at ocean of daughters at gmail dot com right ocean of daughters at gmail dot com and I, there will be a personal couple of conversations that are expected right um just for me to um just for me to um just 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 make sure that you know <laughs> you're a right fit for such a, a sacred space and um I'm not gonna put any parameters on, on the on who you are are sleeping with or or, you know, I'm not gonna say that you know only divested women can come into that space, and I'm not gonna say just because you're a divested black woman that you are definitely gonna be able to enter that space because, um, a lot of divested black women are still dick dumb. And that's and that's one of and that's one of the reasons not to be invited into this space. If you are dick dumb, you can't really come into this space because um for for me I realize that black males are the most dangerous, but I'm I, all males. Any anybody that was born XY is a danger to black women. I don't I don't at this point in my life I don't really give a fuck. Like I don't care if he's white, I don't care and I'm a straight woman, and I date men, <laughs> um, when I do decide to date, I date men, um, so I'm not, you know, a lesbian just on here, you know, saying get the fuck away from males, right, I understand that we are straight and we like men, um, but I'm not willing to sacrifice my, my sisters to have a man. Ever. I'm not willing to sacrifice my womanhood um, to have a man. I'm not willing to sacrifice my own sovereignty to have a man. I'm not willing to sacrifice... I'm not really willing to sacrifice anything to have a man. I'm not willing... I, I'm, I'm not willing to, you know, have my cat be locked inside of another room... If the, if the nigga and, you know, not literal black men, because, you know, on my last clubhouse room, we had decided they all niggas. <laughs> apes are apes and the rest of them niggas. If a nigga come over and he allergic to cats, I'm not even putting my fucking cat inside my room. Like, no, nigga. I'm not doing that. Like, like I'm, not, I'm not sacrificing anything to have a man around me or to, to date men or to be with a man. I'm just not doing it. 
I'm just not doing it. I'm not turning down anything. I'm not fixing up anything. I'm not doing none of that shit. Any any man needs to be fucking grateful to, to be in my presence. Any fucking man. So if your dick dumb, just don't even don't even send me no emails. Like for real, if, if you you know what? Let me. If you're really young, <laughs> right? And I'm talking about young maidens. You have to be 18 years old to join this space. Sorry, okay. Um, I know that it may be some you know subscribers here who are um under the age of 18 and you can continue to message me and we can continue to have personal dialogue but in this space you have to be 18 and older but if you 18 to like you know when when do your brain fully develop at 25 i'm gonna allow you to be a little bit dick dumb you know you can't you you can be a little dick dumb but you can't sacrifice the space for no for no dick sis baby sis you you know um but I, I, you know, it will be a safe space for maidens. Let me say that. It will be a safe space for maidens. Like, you don't have to, you know, be in a space and just, you know, know everything and not be able to error or not be, um, a crone, right? You know, you, you have to be a crone in black woman. You have to want to crone. You have to want to be, uh, um, you know. If you listen to my, my my video on what a crone is, you know, you can go back and listen to that. And if that's where you're at, then, you know, send me an email and we will uh, shoot the shit and, you know, discuss it. I may have a clubhouse room this week and we'll talk about Roe versus Weed. From now on, when I have clubhouse rooms, I'm making them private. So you have to be a member of Ocean of Daughters, like, clubhouse greenhouse thing to talk, you know, to be in that space because, you know... I just feel like the clubhouse is not private enough. And not only that, I feel like, you know, as I said, I feel really, you know, really, really, really protective of the the actual crone in the space and the actual crone and black women in that space. And I don't want to, um, to, to just, you know, be exposing them to fuck shit. You know, if, if they decide to come into a private space, like a Discord, where, where they know their maiden's gonna be in, you know, not a whole bunch of maidens, but there will be maidens in the space. And, you know, you know they, they know what they signing up for. But on Clubhouse, when you say something on Clubhouse and your videos is being chopped up and shit, like, no, like, no one should, should no, no one should be, you know, subjected to that. And I'm not going to subject cloning black women to that no more. So I think that I have done what I was going to do about Roe versus Wade. What it means for cloning black women. You know, just just be very, very responsible with your wounds. Do what is necessary to not have unwanted pregnancies. Um, you know, when it's a war on women and it's a war on specific women, I, I, you know, I'm convinced of it. Right? It's a war on a woman. You know, when it's about a replacement theory, it's a replacement theory on a woman. And you know that it is a woman because everybody in the world is impersonating that woman. And everybody in the world is impersonating that woman's children, right? Even though she keep on having, you know, ain't shit done, you know, the world's still impersonating them, right? And it just, it just speaks to her value. It just speaks to her value. And... If you know when when you have that much power as a as a woman as a human being in this realm you have to start being you know i think that black women right african american women don't really want to accept that we have that much power because with the power comes a bit of responsibility that we don't want and And we're irresponsible as fuck. As fuck. We're very irresponsible as, as a collective. African-American women, you know, and this is something I'll talk about in a private 
space, right? I'm not really here to chastise black women. Like, it's enough of that going on. It's so much of that going on that I refuse to do it in the public space. I refuse to do it. It's, 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 you know, people have messaged me and said, like, you don't say, you know, you don't, you act like black women don't do nothing wrong. And I'm going to keep on acting like that. <laughs> you know, I'm going to keep on acting like that. I'm going to keep on acting like they can't do nothing wrong. Yes, to me, in the public space, black women can't do shit wrong. Nothing wrong. Because they have been, because we have been chastised so much. And as I said, a lot of people gaslight black women and I and 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 you know throw rocks and hide their hands then when she starts yelling hollering and screaming everybody don't know why she's doing it you know regardless of how she's acting out you know I just don't I, I just you know I, 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 I'm not trashing black women I just can't do it I cannot do it in a public space I think that there's enough of that going on um it was a video by divine being this where she was you know just talking about how you know, the whole world is hearing apes trash black women. Like, imagine that. I, I mean, imagine that. And not only do they do it, not only do they know about it, they gaslight us for it. And then on a, on a dating site, it was a fucking Indian. And look, I get really, really, really nasty when... So anyhow, when I, you know, look, when I hear about someone trashing black women, I get really nasty. It's no holds barred with me. Like when it comes to black women, especially when I'm on the internet, like if I'm on a, you know, um, a social site and someone's trashing black women, like I get really nasty and indignant. Like I do, you know, it's real, it's real bad with me. But this is how the whole world knows that black men trash black women ridiculously. And when I'm saying black women and black men, I'm talking about African-American women and men, right? So I'm on this social site and this um, Indian, right? He's impersonating an ape, right? And he is trashing black women. And, and I'm telling you, black women are eating it up, right? He goes on to say that he only dates white women because, because he, um, because white women are submissive and black women are too combative. I mean, he went through all of, all the lines, all the shit that the apes say. And the black women was just commenting on it and going on and on and on. And just, you know, an ape doing what he, what he do, I thought, right? So... I commented on it and I said, well, I don't really see how this is a loss for black women because, you know, who wants to, who wants, who gives a fuck what conquered men think any fucking way? And why would black women want to continue to seek and date the poorest man in the world? I mean, in the fucking world, Craig. So, you know, basically I say my spill and I'm hoping that black women see it like, sis, you, you out here looking crazy over apes and this is what they saying about, this is what they saying about you and this is who the fuck they are. So I trash black men really horribly, right? And then this piece of shit Indian decides to share that he just said that and that he was an Indian. He just said that to get a rise out of black women. When I tell y'all, I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Y'all literally over in India shitting on a, shitting in the middle of the street. Y'all, you know, <laughs> like, look, I'm, I tell you, I get nasty when it come to black women, right? Cause y'all literally over in India shitting in the street, bitch. And you decided to come over here and impersonate an ape just to trash for black women. Are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking stupid? It was a it was a fucking national emergency over there because y'all was shitting in streets, bitch. Y'all don't handle fucking toilets, and you are trashing African American women. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you, bitch? So <laughs> I said all that to say that when it comes to black women, for me, you know anybody can get it. I don't have no pics. 
I don't have no picks because I know that everybody is playing is everybody is playing a role and everybody has a hand in having her look a certain way. And when I say having her look a certain way, she looks like me. Can nobody tell a difference when I go outside? When I'm you know, until they hear me say what I gotta say. You know, but nobody knows the difference between me and the African American woman that he was trying to trash. A fucking Indian. A fucking dirty ass fucking Indian. Bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They fucking barely fucking civilized. And I know, you know, you can come over here talking about xenophobia. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't have any cut cards um, when it comes to me and my likeness. When you're just trying to harm black women for no reason. You are fucking Indian. You have no fucking cards in the stack. And you decided to side with apes and come over here and try to trash black women. See, I don't like that. So, yeah. He got cussed the fuck out. And, you know. When, I, when, when. When, when, your man, when the males of your likeness are fucking warring with you. And... Everybody else is throwing rocks at you and hiding hands and shit like that. Like, for a woman like me, it's a, it's a point of just getting fed up and just looking at the world itself. Um, or the people of the world itself and just realizing that as a whole world society, you have abandoned and left black women for dead. And I charge you all. <laughs> at this point just like i charge all the apes like i charge all of y'all too like i don't i like, I, I charge all of y'all too you know you're not you, you're not you, if you're not doing anything about it you're complicit and if you're complicit i don't respect you and i think this was about roe versus Wade, but i just started talking my shit and you know i hope that it blessed your sunday <laughs> I hope that it bless your Sunday. I don't really have much more to say about this topic. Um, not in, in a public space. Um, and really, I think, you know, I'll decide later um, how, I'll proceed, how I will proceed. Um, but, you know, comment. We can talk about it, you know. If you feel like I said something about the dirty ass Indians, well, I think it's Asians dirty as shit. I think them fucking Africans over there, they dirty as shit too. Like, like really, if you, if you want to be mad, like, you know, I'll give you a fucking reason to be mad. Because those fucking dirty ass Africans, and I'm not talking about African women, I'm talking about African males. You know, they come over here with their own bullshit and their own fucking thoughts about African American women. Like, I don't miss that about them. Um, and I just, you know, I, I'm just, you know, I think because I have gotten out of, out of the elements that a crone is truly in, and that's just being, you know, by my motherfucking self, right? And I've been, you know on the interwebs talking to the fucking muggles it's just it, you know it just made me fed up it just made me fed up and you know as i got fed up i got really short i got really really short right i got really really short with people and you know that happened but anyway i'm gonna end this video because i'm really not saying shit i'm just talking at this point um but if you want to talk about Roe versus Wade, you know, feel free to comment in the comments. If you want to talk about that blog, Black Women Do Not Have Children in Blackistan, it is a death sentence. Feel free. And not only is it a death sentence in Blackistan, I just feel like right now, when it's a war on women, a specific woman, you know, you know, they, you know, they, they, they're trying to, they listen, listen, Black women, African American women, they're trying to trick us. They, that's one look that's one thing society is known for doing tricking us you know they do a lot of fucking foolery around here with black women and because black women are so detached from spirit we are not able to see it and we're missing a lot 
we're missing a lot. And, you know, let me just name a few things and let's just see if you can connect the dots. <laughs> you know, let's just see if you can connect the dots of what's going on. African American woman. Um, so Roe versus Wade has been overturned. They just now figured out what a woman was. Right? Nobody knew what a woman was just what six months ago, last week. They ain't know what a woman was. Today they found out what a woman was. Well, it's Friday they found out what a woman was, right? You got mad scientists over here trying to figure out how to get your wombs in the males. Okay? You got the great replacement. The true great replacement where everyone on earth is trying to imp is trying to fucking imitate you, right? Trying to steal your essence. You got apes killing you every fucking five hours or killing us or killing black women every fucking five hours. So, they killing you, getting rid of you, impersonating you, taking your wombs, <laughs> taking your wombs, dirtying up what it means to be a woman. And now they are forcing you to have children. Something fishy going on. <laughs> look, I look, I, look. I didn't, I didn't get y'all some of the things that's going on. You know, you connect, connect the dots however you like. But it's something fishy going on, Black woman, African American women, sis. It's something fishy going on. I think you should be. I think you should be concerned. I think that you know you. We might want to sit some shit out, think some shit over. You know, think some shit over. The first thing I think we need to we need to sit dating out because at this point, when the Indians and I just now said the Indians is making more. Didn't I just now say them fucking dirty ass Indians after they came over here and learned how to wash the fuck up and sit on the fucking toilet? Yes, I am being xenophobic. Yes, I am. <laughs> that's that's homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic. Look, I'm all the fucking phobics, okay? But I just now said after they came over here, learned how to wash up well and put fucking deodorant on. <sighs> fucking firecrackers. Anyway, until they learn how to wash up well, put deodorant on, sit their asses on the toilet, that they are outpacing white males as far as wealth especially in Cali and as soon as the shit fell from my mouth as soon as that fell from my mouth I it's a fucking Indian over here trashing black women like I don't look look Dr. John was it John Henry Clark said when he was talking about black people he said that you don't have no um allies he was really talking to black women Sis, I don't think you got no allies, and I think that we can start creating little small circles of black women. And when I say small, I mean very small. This space that I'm going to create, it's going to be no more than 50 black women, and that's too many. <laughs> I'm going to be weeding out in that, in that small space, right? But no more than 50 black women to be able to talk and to be able to get familiar with each other and to be able to really build a sisterhood over time. Um, and to be able to really begin to, to, to just, you know, do some work. And I want to split it up between maidens, mothers, and crones, right? Um, I'm going to give specific, I want to make a specific guideline. Um, I think I mentioned Erica in this, right? And one of the things that she says, and she's always said, we must be a thing apart, right? And that's fucking beautiful, Erica. But... We were talking about rules, and I was like, you know, well, technically, a crone does not have a rule. She lives by her own, um, her own, you know, rules that she set for herself. But there is a standard that a crone has, right? And I wanted to get that kind of standard, um, standard together, right? And I've been writing, and I've been coming up with a certain code for for crones or a certain standard and if you have any ideas please comment them if you think there is a certain standard that crones should live up to please comment especially if you are a crone yourself or you can email it to me again oceanofdaughters at gmail.com um and and i just wanted to, I, I just really want to cultivate this space of black women um 
you know, a, a, a sisterhood of black women that truly, um, are, are trying to, if nothing else, offer each other some confirmation, right? Because as I am, as I begin to, all the time as I, as I scour the internet looking for, you know, women of like mind, right? Um, most of the time, women confirm something I already knew, right? Something I already knew that I did not have the courage to say, or I was kind of thinking it, but I felt like it was too harsh. Um, and one of those things was, and I'm going to share it here, and I know, I know it's not going to be taken, you know, and you can disagree, right? A crone gets to think however she wants. But for those who was thinking it and ain't never said it, um, a, a woman said it. And she was a, she was a health professional. And she said in every other, something that I'm just, I'm just giving you an example. Something I've been thinking, I even shared it with my daughter. And my daughter, she is a liberal little black woman, you know, trying to live out her position in this fucking realm as, I don't want to say as a mule, but you know, she's young and she, you know, society taught her a certain way to be and how she would be acknowledged in, in society and I am constantly teaching her that they, you know even society is beneath her so she gets to be how she want to be but I was sharing with her and um I was talking about this war on women I just you know I just a specific woman right and I was just telling her in the different ways that this war is being fucking won and right and it's because black women don't really you know, understand it, you know, these apes and and the world as, as, as a whole is warring against us, right? But I was telling her one of the ways that the apes are warring against us and they're winning is they, with pregnancy. And then I figured out a new way <laughs> in pregnancy that they war, right? And it was in autism, right? And something I learned about autism, two things I learned about autism, right? Uh, of course, we all know that the autism numbers are increasing in black people, right? Because you keep on, you know, having babies with apes. But I realized that autism is a spectrum and that the spectrum that um, the boys are ending up on is far more, um, more... Look, I don't have any any children that's autistic, so I, I'm trying to use the right, the, the correct words because I know it's a woman listening here who has an autistic child. You know, it's just it's just impossible not to you at, at this point if you're talking to black women, right? Um, so let me say, what's on the more needier end? The boys are in are on the more needier end of the autism spectrum, and I have a friend you know they i don't know what's up with black women but in order to prove that she was with a man you gotta have his baby right so she on you know baby daddy number three and she just now had his baby right and the baby is the boy is autistic a boy and i mentioned a couple videos ago about how this this fucking she had this fucking boy with her one time and this boy was fucking draining the life out of me like scratching up her legs and just you know, just was draining a life out of me. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, girl, you, <laughs> this is what you gotta deal with? Um, but me and her talking, she was like, you know, she just talking like it's regular. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of him for the rest of my life. Right? And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, oh my gosh, these niggas are waging war on us, you know, with babies, and then you have to take care of the baby for the rest of your life? whoa <laughs> like i'm really just like whoa that's too much that's you know that's that's too much i thought listen the niggas that saw that i was divine at 14 right and the demons in them was like you know what we gotta chop her down now right so i had a baby at 14 but i had learned that lesson fast right i didn't have no more babies so i'm at 33 and my child was grown you know, I'm in my early 30s, and you know, you know, I'm fine as fuck. I mean, <laughs> I'm fine as fuck. I'm in good health, and I'm just able to kind of recover some of my life, 
right? Because I'm only, you know, I'm, I'm at 33. That was my daughter was growing up now, you know. I'm tired of saying my age because I feel like, you know, niggas over here trying to figure out who I am. But anyway, you know, I'm in my 30s, you know. <laughs> and in your 30s, you have probably lived one third of life if you, you know, I, I hope to live to over 90, right? And I live one third of my life. So I got two and a thirds left. And, you know, when niggas trying to wage war on you, I'm like, bitch, you couldn't win this war. <laughs> you know, you could, you caught me slipping, but you did not win this war. Because here I am, 30-something, fine as fuck, educated, um, able to become more educated, in good health, bitch. You did not win this war with me. But imagine if I had a child that was fucking delayed in that way that I had to take, take care of that child for the rest of his life. Not these niggas out here waging war on us like that and then giving us, you know, babies that we have to take care of forever. Forever. The baby never leaves the home. The baby never lives out on its own. The baby is never able to take care of itself. And I'm talking to my daughter about this and I'm just trying to look. I'm trying to you know, just let her know, listen, baby, don't let these niggas ever catch you slipping, right? And the next day, I'm on Clubhouse and I'm listening. Um, the next day must have been, you know, Friday because I'm on Clubhouse in El Man's room. And I'm in El Man's room and she had a, a lady that was on a stage and her name was Amina the, Amina the fucking godsend. You hear me? Because she worked in the health field and she was talking about how black women keep babies that are, she, I don't think she was talking about autism, um, but she was talking about who, you know, have problems, um, and they know before they are born and instead they have the baby knowing that they're going to be taking care of that baby for the rest of life. And she literally said, she said, black women act like that baby is a, a gift from God when it's actually a fucking curse. Now, I don't have no child that's autistic, so it's easy for me to say. Just like I ain't got no fucking thumbs. I can see, look, I can see these curses because I'm sitting on the outside looking in. Damn it. So, so, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was just now thinking that these children are fucking cursed. And it's the way that these fucking apes war with us by, you know, having us have babies that's fucking mentally delayed. And we have to take him from the rest of our life. That's how, they, that's another way they win this fucking war. They destroy our lives with these fucking babies that we have to take care of forever. Right? And she even went on to say that everywhere else in nature, the baby would have been abandoned. But because it's a black woman, the baby's not abandoned. Oh gosh, yo, I gotta go. It's nephew time. But um, and I have remembered, I I'm a cat lady, right? I always had cats, and one of my cats was pregnant, and she had babies, and one of the babies was 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 not gonna be viable. When I tell y'all, she left that kitten for dead. She left that kitten for dead so so horribly, y'all. I had to nurse the kitten and keep the kitten alive. She would not, listen, she would not do anything for that kitten at all. And the kitten may have been like six months old and it finally died. But she knew that cat, that kitten was not going to make it and she was not wasting her time on it. And uh, Amina has spoke about how in nature that happens all the time. Like, uh, like mothers will abandon non-viable children or not children, children are human, but non-viable offspring, right? And black women or well, humans are the only ones that don't do it. Listen, if you're here, black woman, and you're under the sound of my voice and you didn't already feel that it's going to be something wrong with that baby, listen, you have a fully functioning womb, sis. Get rid of that baby. Get rid of that baby. <laughs> I said that some of these spaces are just room for confirmation. Here I am, damn it, to confirm. Get rid of that baby. Do not have that ape's fucking uh baby and you're gonna be taking care of that baby for the rest of your life hell no i don't give a fuck what he said give rid of that baby okay so i felt like that was a message somebody might have needed because i was on my way out but anyway ladies have a good um night 
and a good day because i'm gonna post it early in the day have a good day and have a good week and maybe i'll have a clubhouse room this week i don't know i have been messaged about clubhouse room listen to the ladies that be messaging me on clubhouse like cream where's you at y'all i have to i have to make us a safer space clubhouse clubhouse is not it because i'm telling you some of the women that i have the crones that i have up on that stage they are 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 listen they are goddesses in their own right and i don't want the things that they be saying just to be circling all over clubhouse like it's just like like it's something to be like what they say is something to be argued like you fucking muggles like how fucking dare you <laughs> you know what i'm saying like so i just felt like i felt like i was doing those crones actual crones and the cronin black women who will be up on our stages a disservice so from now on, i think i'm just gonna have like um as i said you know rooms where it's just a private room but i you know i want you ladies here on clubhouse to know when it's happening i mean on youtube to know when it's happening because um you know you you ladies are are the ladies that you know i came for i did not come to get on clubhouse right i tried to use clubhouse as a way to keep in contact with you ladies but as i said email me um and and, and the, you know let's get into a more sacred and a little a more personal space because some of the things that those ladies and and even myself right um share i i think should be shared in a more spot a more private space in a more sacred space so feel free to email me and um you know i will start to and also feel free to email me and also if you have any ideas for standards that crone should have like um a, a set of a standards that every crone you know lives by um please you know as i said you know one of one of mine is to of course not be willing to sacrifice your sister over no male i don't give a fuck who he is I don't, I don't care who he is baby daddies husbands brothers dirty ass sons like no you know this is a, a, a private space there should be no males here no males should be hearing our conversations oh my goodness let me one more thing and i'm gonna go because I just now had to end a friendship. And. And I'm just going to say this. According to that standard. That I said that crones should live by. Right. And it's no prioritizing. Um, males over this sisterhood. Right. Um, a good friend of mine. We have been friends for years. And she. I thought ladies. That's honestly. Did, well I, I thought a while ago. Years ago. That she was you know um a crony black woman right but i started to think that she wasn't because she she kept on she 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 kept on she couldn't stay the fuck away from apes and they was fucking bummed like i mean all the apes ain't shit but she was really with some like real ain't shit bum bummy ass apes that you know did not work that she had to take care of that smoked cigarettes i don't know why i just now said smoking cigarettes was bummy because <laughs> But a nigga never had no cigarettes, so that made it bummy, right? And I had never been in this these bummy ass niggas spaces because I don't like bummy ass niggas in general. I, in general, I, back when I used to deal with the apes, I don't like no bummy ass nigga. I never did. I never liked no fucking bummy ass nigga. I don't, you know. As I said, I was the girl, you know, twenty years ago. Them apes, these apes be on YouTube talking about. 20 years ago who walked right past um those um lame niggas and was talking to like you know it got me into some shit it shouldn't have <laughs> but i was you know i i was talking to the quote unquote thug unquote right that was my type right i never talked to no fucking bummy ass nigga um but she got a thing for bummy ass niggas anyway so i had already stopped thinking that she was you know really a crone like i just but but we still co continue to have conversation and one day i'm having conversation with her and she's talking about men leading and i said you know men are not supposed to be leaders i don't know where that ever came from like men are supposed to be leaders men are not supposed to be leaders right um 
and and that's that <laughs> you know and i heard her say while we was on the phone she said what you mean for and she was talking to her 15 year old son turns out i was on the speakerphone why she why i said that that men she cannot believe right but she got me on a speakerphone while her little son listening now i had already the done had added me on instagram and i on instagram back at that time i used to you know be trashing niggas on my instagram fuck it and i had made a post about how you know i you know your sons are gonna hate you right it don't matter what you do for them they're gonna hate you and he he sent me a message asking me why did i say that and i said you know i don't know if i should answer this question so ask your mom and you know she told you know she was okay with me answering them and i answered them but for the most part at the time i was only trashing niggas on facebook i wasn't trashing niggas that often on instagram so but i but i would see his stories of kevin samuels he would repost kevin samuels shit so you know he huffing and puffing about what i said and i asked her i said did he listen to kevin samuels or something and her response to me that i had already known that he did right and i'm trying to let her know like sis your little eight about the <laughs> your little thumb about to be off the hook okay but i had to ask her just to see like are you even monitoring this little boy or at all so she was like no he, she, he be hearing y'all and i'm like wait a minute hold up he be hearing us and she was like, yeah, you and a couple of the other women that I talked to. And I was like, well, where he hit me at? Because then he don't got no Facebook. And he not on my Facebook. And at this point, my Facebook was private. So I like, where he hit me at? And I don't, I don't post nothing on my Instagram no more. So where did he hit me at? Turns out, every time we was talking, she had me on a fucking speakerphone. She had me on speakerphone, letting her done listen to what the fuck I had to say. See that kind of betrayal? I don't like that. <laughs> like, that's a standard. Like, like, don't be having black women on fucking speakerphone while your fucking apes are listening. I don't give a fuck if it's your fucking son, your fucking granddaddy, uh, your father, a nigga you fucking like. That is a standard. Like, don't do that. This is a sacred space for black women and no male should hear what the fuck we have to say. Not even your little fucking dirty ass hateful thing. So, that is one standard. And it's because of that reason. But, um, you know, comment below if you got standards. Comment below if you got anything to say about any of my rants. Um, send me your email. Um, send me an email of your discords if you want to, you know join my discord um and i think that's all you beautiful beautiful ladies let's like say enjoy your week hope you enjoyed your weekend um if i do you know if i do have a clubhouse room this week i will make sure that i post it here because i do want you ladies you know you ladies are why i made the why i decided to even start speaking on clubhouse you know even though some other women have come into the space I, you know my initial reason was for you ladies here on youtube so if i do have a clubhouse room this week i will definitely be posting it here um love you ladies be safe um don't let these you know niggas catch you slipping and when i say niggas i mean these males like just don't let them catch you slipping with no fucking baby okay